says, a very, very good evening to you and Dinky Doo from me, Scotty McClue. I thought we'd just pop up Saturday night, of course. Nothing gets past me, but uh, it's always good to see who's around and to say hi to everybody. Uh, we did pop up earlier, of course, just to test a few things out, but I thought we'll see what's happening because during lockdown, let's be honest about it, you know, there's not much on the telly, there's not much on the radio, and we may as well enjoy ourselves, so why not come and join me live on TikTok with a live stream, and then at least we can get some human being banter, we can get some chit chat, we can have a laugh. Hey mate, how are you? Gavan, how lovely to have you with us, dinky do, Rick, hello! Hey mate, how are you? Absolutely, hello there everybody, Jack's just joined us, how fantastic is that? Hello! Thank you for everything. We're looking forward to meeting you one a day. Not at all. Thank you, Gavan. It would be fantastic. We'll all get together. We may even have an evening with Scotty McClure. Hello, Scotty. How are you? Says Kareem. Kareem, I was just thinking about you there. I'd done a little bit of shopping, and I thought, now I said to Kareem, I'd be popping up later. So there we are. Evening, Scotty. Steve James Jams. Lovely to have you with us. Lots of likes, please, guys. Tap, tap, tap. Tap. Lots of likes and likes and follow me, please. Martin, hello, Scotty. Hello, Martin. Thank you. Not a dog, Evan. Who's Scotty? Well, that's a big question, isn't it? First Lord of the Internet, World Stop Broadcaster. Good evening. Hello, I'm a big fan. I thank you, Dinky Doo Breakfast. Good evening, Scotty, says George. George, always a pleasure, never a chore to have you with us. Tremendous stuff. And Dinky Doo. Lots and lots of fabulous people. Evening, Scotty. Uh, Celtic are going to pump Rangers tomorrow, says Kieran. Do you think so, Kieran? Would it still be worth playing the game, though, even although you know the outcome? Is that what you're telling us? I'm in the mood for being rude. So there we are. Well, don't, Kieran, because it's very, very bad for you. What does First Lord mean? Well, that means the absolute top man on the internet anywhere, you know. <coughs> Scotty, the man, Reggie here. Uh, Reggie, sorry, Scotty, you've got better at live streams ever since I joined your first one. That's D, that's so kind of you to say, because if you think about it, I don't know if you live stream a lot yourself, but it can be quite daunting at first. Because of the weekend, there'll be some weird people on tonight, Gavan, I don't doubt it. I think even if it wasn't the weekend, there would be some weird people on, because I think they get attracted by the light, you see. What are your thoughts on the Jaguar E-Type? An outstanding motor car. Always was. Uh, triple carburetor. Triple carburation. Hello, Scotty. How are you, buddy? Dinky do, Charlie. Come on, the Glasgow Angels tomorrow. Good evening, the Duke of Dundee. That's true, says Gavan. Oh, you dog. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky do. What's your take on Harry and Meghan? I think they shouldn't have done the interview. I know they probably did it to get a few quid, but they shouldn't have done that. You don't dump on your own family, you know, from that point of view. Dinky do, Scotty. There you are. I wonder if the royal family should now be a bit careful about who they allow in. That's what I would be tempted to say. But, of course, it's up to them at the end of the day. But uh, even when Edward VIII was at his lowest and at loggerheads with the family at the time, with his mother and, uh, you know, well, his father had obviously died or he wouldn't have been Edward VIII, but he did be at loggerheads with his parents as a younger man as Prince of Wales, and he was an outstanding Prince of Wales. But, um, you know, he would never, ever, ever have actually dumped on the family like that. Amy, you never ever ask anybody their pronouns. Where are you from, says Jake? I am from the universe, Jake. So there we go. We're going to run riot tomorrow, Martin boy. I don't think you are. Or you'll end up in the pokey, the hokey pokey. How many wives did Henry VIII have? Well, it was six, wasn't it? Can you name them all for me? Where are you from? So, Scotty, Gies the Serge, 
Well, I've got a nice tartan sash. Was that the one you were thinking of? We'd only get one family, but at times of hard, you don't get along, but you're always there for the family. Oh, absolutely. You know, please, can you say dinky-doo before I go? I love to hear it. Thanks. Of course you can. Dinky-doo to you and farewell. Wales are leading. Oh, well. Scotty, I know you support Rangers. May I ask why, Barton? Where on earth did you get that from? There we are. I support Rangers and Celtic. The Jaguar E-Type was an amazing, beautiful car. Very highly priced, though, as it's very rare. Well, it's very highly priced now. It was expensive at the time as as well. Hey Scotty, I'll tell you a good one that was the XJS, not in the same league as the E-Type, but very popular as a sporting Jaguar. Are you having a holiday this year, Scotty? I have a holiday every year, even if it's just in the hoose. So there you are. I get a wee break. Scotty, how are you doing? I'm getting my jab this Friday. Mark, good luck, and I hope you're okay, chum. Bless you. We'll be thinking about you. Think about Mark on Friday. It's only appreciating in value. Well, that's right, j Dog. I mean, motor cars, you know, they get what's called in the trade tin worm. It's rust. It's oxidization of the iron and steel. There, you've got to support Celtic, a Scottish and Irish club, the best two countries in the world. There we go, Martin. Evening from Tain. We need you back in the radio. I miss Scott FM. Absolutely, big jock. Now, we all miss Scott FM. The maddest thing was taking Scott McLeod off Scott FM. They had to sell the station. Thoughts on Greta Thunberg? Well, I noticed somebody saying today, the present generation telling us that we need to look after the planet, the older people, as if they're in the wrong, and they're looking after the planet's new. You think about it. We never went on flights. We had everything in paper bags. There wasn't any plastic about. All that stuff, when you went to the butchers, you put your steaks in a paper bag. Mon the hoops, are you in London now, Scotty? Mark, I broadcast from anywhere. So there you are. I'd buy a Jaguar E-Type only to obtain it for its value. Make a great bit of profit. J-Dog, that's not the reason to buy something like a classic car. You buy it because you love the car. Did you feel sorry for Joe Biden falling over? Any elderly person stumbling like that, somebody should have been to his rescue right away. So there we are. Martin. Listen to this nonsense. Scotty, the IRA will overrun the monarchy in the future. Now, this bunkum has to stop. The IRA is an elderly setup. It's gone. It's finished. There's no need for it because your day has come, right? There's no sort of fighting between Britain and Ireland now. That's gone. That's finished, right? And the Irish crown, I think, is even part of it. The person who founded Sinn Féin was a monarchist. Yes, have you got that? So they were, I'd be scared to drive something like that. Not at all, J-Dog, although it is quite specialist driving because of the length of the bonnet. There's somebody that says, up the RA. So he's a Royal Artillery man, up the Royal Artillery. Uh, now this... Uh, Who's this guy here, Connor? Our day will come. Your day has arrived, Connor. There's no need for it. Your day came years and years ago. Your day came when the Good Friday Agreement was signed. That was your day. Enjoy your day. Oppression towards the Irish, was it? There's no oppression towards the Irish at all. We'll not give up to a United Ireland. Zero oppression, Martin. If the people of Ireland want to reunite, they may well do it. There is no oppression. Have you got that? You're a very knowledgeable fellow. David, we have to be, because when you get these dafties on, talking out of a different part of their anatomy to the rest of us, you have to explain to them that they've had their heat stuffed with nonsense. Do you think electric cars are going to be a good thing? Well, it's interesting. It's nothing new because the electric cars, there's a very kind person called Gala saying this man is a live encyclopedia. There we are. Uh, it's nothing new electric cars. You see, when 
Charles Stuart Rolls, C.S. Rolls, who actually, I think, died in 1910 in a ballooning accident when he was about 34. And when he got together with Henry Royce for Rolls Royce, one of the reasons they got together was Royce wanted Rolls to invest in his company and Rolls dealt in electric cars. Can you see? So in the 1890s, 1900s, Rolls dealt in electric cars. But when he met Henry Royce, then they decided on things like the Silver Ghost and getting into the uh, three and four litre engines. Uh, opinions on Fidel Castro. Well, the poor soul's passed away now. So really, um, but apparently if you go um, to where he was, a lot of old-fashioned values. There you are. He was a, he was a cigar smoker. Fidel Castro, that stuff. The Bay of Pigs. Yes, and that was when Nikita Khrushchev, the uh, president of Russia, told president of the USSR, told a very young John Kennedy, so aged about 45, 46, and said to him, young man, be very careful about mobilizing your military because you won't be able to to stop them. And I think Bobby Kennedy was the Attorney General at the time, wasn't he? And there was some pretty, um, pretty, what shall we say, tense phone calls going on in the United States and Cuba. I uh, was at the butchers today, Scotty, got a sirloin and it was wrapped in paper. Excellent, Mark. That's the stuff you're not bringing home a load of plastic. You know, from that point of view, ha ha, Sir David Rutter. The calendar man's back, if you remember him. Of course we remember you. We love calendar. One time in the future, all petrol cars will be illegal. Well, uh, I would be sorry to hear that, to be quite honest with you. But it's interesting they're talking about hydrogen-powered buses. So there we go. I've always thought... Hydrogen, there we are. What have you been up to the day, Scotty? Oh, Angie, a very, very busy day today. There are never enough hours in the day. I'm just in from doing the shop. So there you are, fantastic, with lovely, lovely people up at our superstore there. God save our queen, says Big Jock. Absolutely Big Jock. The queen is the queen of everyone. There we are. Regardless of your race, your creed, your color, your background, your religion, your denomination of religion, the queen is everyone's queen. So there we are. And when the act of succession was passed with Queen Anne in 1701, there was only one vote in it between having a Catholic sitting on the throne or not. Because remember, the British throne's been Catholic many, 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 many times. Wonderful stuff. I've got an electric car. It's brilliant, Scotty. I've got an electric car, but it's just a wee model. Get this dude on the chase. Better still make him one of the chasers. The man's got the knowledge. Gary, you are very, very kind. Scotty, dinky-doo, flight from Australia again. Uh, do I not miss the Highlands? Oh, you'll be missing the Highlands. You see, a Highlander really misses it. Somebody says, VSC, electric cars are a scam. Well, that's a generalization, VSC, but I'm not a great fan at the moment. But then again, you see, I'm a petrol and diesel head. There we are. Electric cars will not be beneficial in Britain. There we go. You see, the government caused a terrific problem with uh, putting out Duff Gen about diesel cars after they'd asked everybody to have a diesel car. And uh, then I think it was Gordon Brown who actually, um, our boats in this country used to run on industrial diesel, on red diesel. And I think he put a stop to that, and that made boating very expensive. You see what I mean? So we should go back to red diesel for boats. I think it was introduced as a thank you to all those who took the little ships across to Dunkirk to help to evacuate Dunkirk in 1940. I love the sound of a beautiful V8 engine. J-Dog, you should hear a V12. 
Oh, fantastic. The V8s are good. The best V8 that I've ever had was the old Buick engine, which was put into Rover cars. They're over 3.5. Lovely, lovely, smooth, silky engine. Although I think we went into aluminium. The original Buicks, I think, had an iron set up, iron block, etc. Scotty, be a nationalist and stop being a unionist. Martin, you're getting very, very, very confused. Yes, I believe Scotland could do very well independently. I have never been impressed. There is no case for the Union. There never, ever was a case for the Union. It was done by jiggery-pokery. So I'm not any great Unionist, I can tell you that, but I'm apolitical as well. But the Queen, it's nothing to do with Unionism. The Queen is the Queen of Scotland, and I think you might find she's still the Queen of Ireland. Very, very interesting. I would need to check the background on that. Good evening, Scotty. Hope you're well. Jimstar, very well. Lovely having you with us. Hydrogen or ammonia may overtake the electric locomotion. Well, ammonia might smell a bit funny, you know what I mean? Um, I'm back. Sorry, my phone went flat. I'm on my iPad. Scotty, good man, didn't you do? Nobody cares for the crown. So, Martin, that's an absolute whopper, right? Everybody cares for the crown. It's our symbol of authority. It's what we all live by. So let's remove that fib, right? So we'll take Martin's fib out there. Nobody cares for the crown. Change that to everybody cares for the crown. Yes, the nation want it gone. Another fib. Nobody in the nation wants it gone or you'd lose 50% of your vote. Absolutely. We will have our freedom. We have our freedom anyway. Indiref 2, independence can only happen with the approval of the Crown. If the Crown is not secure in its future, it will never grant independence. The First Minister of Scotland, her first thing was to swear allegiance to the Crown, to Her Majesty the Queen. All right, there we are. The Scottish Parliament was graciously granted by Her Majesty the Queen. Yes, otherwise there would be no Parliament in Scotland. The royal warrants are what runs the Parliament. But Her Majesty the Queen has graciously granted the people of Scotland parliamentary sovereignty. She holds ultimate sovereignty. These are the facts, Martin, right? So if you don't stop being anti-monarchist, you can kiss independence bye-bye now. All right, and that goes for everybody who doesn't understand how this country works, right? Excellent stuff. So there we are. We got that for you, dears. Uh, opinions, does the planet exist? Well, the planet exists, all right, yes. We're standing on it. It's revolving. I'll always ride my Harley. If they stop petrol, I'll make my own. Ha, <laughs> Mark. Dinky do. Anybody remember the biofuel? What's a budget hotel? Oh, happy squirrel. Very good. I'll not tell that one. Well said, Scotty. Dinky do to you. No, Jimster. I've just got to give people the facts. And Martin there was just talking complete and utter bunkum. You know, that's the whole thing about it. All right, mate, it's a big fan. Could you wish Sam a happy birthday? Cam, of course I can. I asked the butcher if he had a sheep's head. He said, no, it's just the way I part my hair. <laughs> Steve James, we love them. Thank you very much. I went in and said to the butcher, can I have two chops? He went, jig it. I said, can I have two chops, please? I'm all for petrol. It makes the Harley sound bra. There we are. Well, a petrol engine. They stopped putting petrol engines in wooden boats in the late 1920s and early 30s because of the build-up of fumes could cause an explosion and a fire at sea. And a fire at sea could not be any more dangerous or nasty. Scotty, can you please say hello to Wendy? Of course I can, Jim Starr. Absolutely. The V12. Why are the best? Now, a well-balanced V12, you won't know if it's running. What actually happened when Rolls met Royce, Royce took him to his workshop where he was working on a big car, probably the first Silver Ghost. 
Royce went round to the front of the car and swung the handle. Then he came back round and Rolls said to him, What's up? Won't she start? And Royce said, She's running. Yes, how good's that? I don't think I'll ever be able to own a car with a V12 in it. Shoes is too expensive. J-Dog, never, ever, ever say something like that because you're shutting off your options. Now, you're an extremely clever man, extremely able, very brilliant young man, and you're going to do very, very well in life. You also may make substantial money. In that case, the insurance wouldn't matter. Yes, so if you want to have a V12, you can have a V12. You see? Uh, the Ford's 302 is nice. Yes, very often in America, I think they replace the 5.3 liter V12 Jaguar engine in the cars with something else. What is it they do? Is that a Chevrolet engine or something? Good evening, Scotty. What's the only word in the English dictionary that doesn't rhyme? Ooh, is it time or mime? Yeah, I'll, I'll have to work out. Yes, absolutely. I asked you a few times, why does Scott FM bin you? They lost. Well, no, they just suddenly thought they could do without their, their striker, their star player. So they uh, went for it, and uh, that was that. And as soon as I got home, my phone went, and it was the boss of one of the other big stations who said, what happened? And I said, I don't know. He said, well, I can't start you tomorrow. It'll be Monday now. How about that for a conversation on the phone? <laughs> Good day, mate. How's it going? Hello, big man. Hello from Vietnam. Scotty, I was watching a documentary the other day. I didn't realize the mafia are still active. Um, oh, and I suppose they'll Always be criminals around. The crime was put there by a Scot in the first place, James Stewart. Scotland is a monarchy. 100% Robert Scrimmager. You're absolutely correct in what you say, but that was much later. Scotland's had a monarchy for 2,347 years. Let those whom God hath joined together, no man put asunder. Yes, and if you think about it, uh, the English crown, on his swag, he merely pongs, shame on him who thinks evil of it, the, the order of the garter, and then the Scottish uh, duo et mon droit, and the Scottish crown, nemo me impun la cassette. Um, nobody attacks me with impunity. Yes, that's the Scottish crown, nemo me impun la cassette, or the Scottish translation, what door meadow we me? See? So, Nemo me and Pune like Essex, guys. God save our Queen. Absolutely. And I accept that all of you are coming from different angles. I accept that you have a point of view, and I am more than happy to discuss that with you. If I feel you've gone down the wrong road, like Martin there, then I will, uh, I will correct you. So what's wrong with that? The Italian Mafia. I think you've been watching The Godfather again, haven't you? See, see. Scotty, what's that above the picture behind you, just out of camera? Where are you? There we are. There's my beautiful tulips still in bloom, guys. They flopped over and came back up again. And they were a present from a lovely, lovely neighbor um, well over a week ago because my wee Labrador dog passed away two weeks ago and uh, the neighbors rallied round and a lovely, lovely neighbor, a lady came in with flowers and we've had the benefit of the tulips and we remember little Clyde's fabulous spirit. The one in the picture is Lord Reith the Labrador, called after the chap that founded the BBC. Just out, what's just out of shot? Do you mean up or down? Tell me, tell me what's, what's up or down. Scotland first, absolutely. Well, yes, Scotland first includes the monarchy. There, look, let me just show you my credentials. See, what do you see there below that picture? What do you see below that picture? Come on now, fess up. Step up to the plate, everybody. You see the thistle 
over the salt tire. Fantastic. Do you think global warming is just the Earth's cycle? It could well be. If you think about it, the Earth's been globally warming since the Ice Age. That's why we had the Ice Age. Then when the ice melted, it uh, shoved all the um, Earth up, and that's our mountains. You see, Scotland got a good load of it there. There we are. Devo, all the sea mocking the Queen and the English. The Queen is the Queen of the whole country, four countries. There we are. Well, Wales is a principality, so her son is the big man there. Put a sock in it, will you, says Lewis. Lewis, you're a man who doesn't care for the truth, I see. Bless you. Right, there we are. Uh, Czech passport, pal, Britain. Uh, yeah, well, Britain, no, you see, there's no country as Britain, so you've got to watch this. Britain is a land mass. Yes, there's no such country as Britain. The Scots are the king long before England did. The Celts and the Picts, 2,347 years ago, Robert. Uh, the, the ancestors of Re, the first Pictish king. So there we are, Devo. Ralt is dead. Sorry, Devo. Wrong, 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 wrong. Uh, royalty will always be with us because they are the curators and custodians of the crown. Can you get that into your wee bonds? There we are. The, there we go. Rospo, you have to go for being a half-witted idiot. So bye to Rospo, the half-wit. Bye-bye, son. Go away and grow up. That's fantastic. Now then. Uh, just go away with that comment, uh, Devo. Good J Dog, quite right. There we are. Great to see you back. Still get your VHS video. You have a face for radio and a face for television. You've got to remember, I was many years in television before I went on radio. Normally people do it the other way, you see. So there we go. Now, who have we got here? Batter sausage or not batter sausage? Well, I like a plain smoked sausage if you can have such a thing. So it's unbattered, I mean. But I love a battered sausage as well, because I enjoy some nice batter. There we are. Totally agree, Scotty. Split the Parliament, never split the crown. Of course, you can split the Parliament, you can never touch the crown. Anybody that goes near the crown, finished, gone. Uh, I've just bought the new 16 Val Skoda. Uh, four in the engine, 12 in the radio. 16 valve. We love it, Steve. Nice comment. Lovely, lovely cars, Skodas. I've had them. Very, very good. I remember I bought my first one at auction and it was nearly new and I think I picked it up for about, I wonder if it could have been £1,100 or something. It was nearly new. And I went down and I said to the auctioneer, I've come to pay for the car. And he said, I said, but no laughing. Um, and he said, I'm not laughing. You have done extremely well there. And I had. I ran it for five years and sold it for 500. Uh, Martin, listen to Scotty. Learn a thing or two. Mark, bless you. Quite right. I've, owned, I've done all the research over 50 years, guys. You might as well benefit from my knowledge and understanding. There they are. J-Dog, debating your opinion instead of being a fool. Devo. J-Dog is no fool, I can tell you. You look like Santa. You are correct. I am Santa, but don't tell the wee ones. There we are. Do you listen to Harry Styles? We enjoy Harry Styles. So there we are. Now, Santa baby, am I on the naughty list? No, no you're fine. You'll get your uh, bike with the stabilizers. Are you rich? I'm probably the richest man in the world. I just don't have any money. So send me some diamonds and gifts and coins if you want. That would be lovely. Scotty, it's raining in green. Johnny boy, you're joking. How could it possibly rain in Greenock? Is Greenock not one of the driest places in the world? Well, well, oh, you have knocked me for six there, la. Huh? Raining in Greenock. Whoa, is everybody all right? I mean, the people got hats and coats. Lovely, jubbly hat. What's your opinion on women? They're a very, very nice um, accompaniment. 
Absolutely. The Ottomans just invaded Constantinople. Spread the word that's urgent. Well, I hope not, because I wanted to sit on my Ottoman and have my supper. Brilliant. Mum's got fillet steak for my breakfast. Mum said, it's egg and chips now for you. Woo! Mark, you're doing very, very well. What do you think about Volvo? Volvo are outstanding. My father used to run Volvos. And uh, I can go back to the 144, the 122. I can go back to the 122. They were very, very swish. Absolutely lovely big car. Very smooth. Scotty, have you had new teeth? No, no, just these. That's my teeth. Hello, everybody. Thank you, G. Look at my teeth, then. No, these are mine, I'm afraid. I haven't had any new teeth, Tonya. But, uh, you know, if you hear of any going cheap, uh, the Ottomans. Yes, so I wanted to sit on my Ottoman. <laughs> Here we got, are you Irish? Anton, we're all Irish. How are we, Scotty? We're fabulous, Kieran. Lovely to have you with us and dinky you do. You all right, mate? We're all right, Alex. There we are. Ah, Elliot. Fleece, yes. Jason and the Argonauts and Jason and the Golden Fleece. Fantastic. Wonderful. Ah, right, brother. Ah, right, Charlie. Lovely to have you with us. Hey, up. Yorkshire is in the house, are you? Are you Arabic? Well, I think a lot of us go back to the ancients, so there'll be a bit of that in us. How much whiskey have you had? Alien, I haven't had whiskey for eight years, maybe. I don't drink alcohol, you see. But uh, do you mean in total throughout my life? Hello from South Africa, says the wonderful Andre. Andre Savala, lovely to have you with us from South Africa. Have you had something on the bray tonight? There we are, dinky do, Scotty. Scotty, what's your opinion when we've dealt with that? Uh, there we are. And uh, who have we got here? May Allah bless you, and may Allah bless you, and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So there we are. Is your name Sophie? Shh, don't, don't, don't tell anybody. <laughs> love from Glencoe. We love Glencoe. Shush, says Alex. Alex wants everybody to shush. They're, they're, I've just told them, Alex, don't you worry. You can get a kip now. Thanks for following us, everybody. Have you all followed me? Now, I need to ask you, can you see on this live the link to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel? Right? Very, very important. Alex says, I'm finding it hard to keep up. Alex, you should sit where I'm sitting. If you're finding it hard, what do you think it's like for me? Oh, heavens above. Uh, England have bullied Scotland and Ireland for generations. Yes, England might, but not the crown, right? The crown covers all the four countries. That's why we had the union of the crowns when Scotland took over the English crown. Yes. Who's your favourite all-time Scottish comedian? That's a different one, a Scottish comedian. I'm loving Peter Kay, but he's not Scottish. But uh, I do like Kevin Bridges. Um, I loved Walter Carr, was more of a comic actor. Lex McLean, Alexander McLean. Uh, yes, very, very funny man. Stanley Baxter, very funny man. Billy Connolly. So you've got Billy Connie, Kevin Bridges, Stanley Baxter, Lex McLean. Who else have we got that we loved? Loved Ricky Fulton and Jack Milroy. They were personal friends and they were big Scotty McClue fans as well. Absolutely. Jack said to me, Scotty's son, Mary and I listen to your show every day. See when you finish with Peter Aff. <laughs> Uh, God save my queen, absolutely. Top man, says Alex. I love how you managed to read out 99% of the comments posted to you. Fair play to you, Scotty. Well, Mark, the 1% I don't read out, that's intentional because they're not worth reading. They're from some wee dafty. We love Glen Coe, Charlie. The only trouble is I once got uh, done for speeding in Glen Coe. Not by very much, but I'd had, uh, you know, about 20 miles an hour up from Ard Louis, 
and then I thought it was a van selling ice cream, and it was a cop van looking for people doing over whatever it is, uh, you know, 60 or whatever the, the limit is. Want to see my tulips? There's my tulips. Look, do you see them there? From Amsterdam. Um, top man, I love your conversations. R.I.P. the dog. Thank you, XX Chow. They look beautiful. So sorry about the dog. Oh, he was gorgeous, Gavan, but he was nearly 14 and a half. He was 14 years, four months, and two weeks. And I thought, that's quite right. He was 100 on Christmas Day. You'll see him on the video on TikTok. Guys, do tell me if you can get yourself onto um, Scotty McClure's YouTube channel from watching right now. There's a link on my bio. Scotty, if you're down the wrong road, send them a sat-nav. They have to answer three questions, right? So there we are. Amazing. Scotty, what's your opinion on women? Well, I've got a soft spot for women. Do you know what I mean? Please, can you say, no, I can't because. Now, okay, you look at what you've done there. You don't have a friend called that. She's not suffering from anything, and that's not her name. And you know that. So you go and have a think about why are you on the absolute TikTok top live? What are you even doing on here? Think that Scotty McClure has done 36 years of live television and radio. Do you think I'm going to fall for that and say something silly? No. So, come on. I can ban you for life or you can grow up. What's it to be? You decide. Wendy says, add lemonade to the water to help you glow. <laughs> there we are. Hi, well, you see, I did do uh, I did a lovely one about adding lemonade to our beer when I was at sea. And that was the nearest we got to a sea shandy. I'll pop up the top of your picture. Hang on a minute. The crest. Anybody know what the crest is? So there you go, yes. Fantastic. So there you go. Why does Scotland give up its independence? Yes, of course, King Bob. It was very strange. Well, it was kind of cajoled into it. King William pulled the rug from under the Darian scheme, or the Darian scheme, out in the Isthmus. See what I just did there? The Isthmus of Panama. And that impoverished Scotland. So it had a problem there. And um, so he didn't give them the money and uh, he didn't contribute to it. There was famine, but Queen Anne pulled a fast one and she bribed the aristocracy because they'd been fighting each other, they'd run out of money. And she bought Scotland for about 1,500 quid. Some of the aristocrats were so poor uh, financially that she managed to bribe them for as little as 15 quid. So they got 15 pounds sterling. And then Scotland had to seriously devalue its economy to facilitate the economic union. Then also she, although she was a steward, she wasn't really entitled to it. She was parachuted in. So it should have been James the second, I think. Uh, so there we are. Uh, wonderful stuff. Oh, add lemonade to help your flowers to bloom. I thought you meant to my water here. Uh, what's that terrible statue outside the BBC relating to Scotty? Can you elaborate? If you're talking, are you talking about broadcasting house uh, in uh, in London? The statue up there is Ariel. Yes, Ariel. That broadcasting house was 1930s, you see. Before that, the BBC were in um, Alexandra Palace. Scotty, what's your opinion on women? We love them. Please, can you say hi to my friend? Uh, okay, no, that's uh, not true. You made that up. So there you are. And I told you to grow up. Okay, all right. Where in Scotland are you from? All of it. I am Mr. Scotland. So there we are. Chicken nuggets or chicken fingers? I don't think there's such a thing as chicken fingers, are they not? Goujons. There we are. I'm not a great one for that sort of fast food. So there we are. Okay, you're spamming us now. I'm just going to... I'll ban you. I think I'll ban you. 
because you're not thinking. Guys, Ethan's being banned for being an idiot. There he goes. And that goes for the rest of you. If you are silly, uh, or you're a dirty, filthy wee midden, don't put any spam stuff on here. It's just you'll get a lifetime ban. What are your pronouns? Beth, you never, ever ask anybody their pronouns. That's their business. So there we go. Are you right wing? No, I'm apolitical. I don't uh, do rights and lefts. We have a much, much bigger view of the world on here. I've no idea what's happening in life or on the stream. Uh, this better not be a liberal feed, Devo. Of course it's not. It's apolitical. How could it be liberal if it's apolitical? So there we are. Now, who have we got here? Dinky Do. Do you like Heartbeat on ITV3? I like Heartbeat anywhere. I absolutely adore it. My favorite character of all was PC Alf Ventress. Edensfield, please. Aye, there's been a burglary up at the all. I think I might know who's done that. <laughs> oh, the cat Greengrass. We loved him as well. The Doctors. Scotty, you look younger than you did 20 years ago, says Johnny Boy. So there you are. He says, are you on the wacky becky? No, Johnny Boy, you mustn't assume other people have got the same lifestyle. Uh, heart of love is very special. So there we go. Now then. Scotland didn't give up its independence. There was widespread bribery and corruption of the peerage. Robert Scringer, you are 100% correct. They were a very corrupt lot. See, we didn't have the dukes the same in these days. They were marquises. So you had the Marquis of Argyle, and you had the Marquis of Montrose. There you are. Damn it, man, I'll have my rank. There we are. We've battered chips in the middle and they're delicious. Fantastic. Watching Scotty with a bottle and he mentions the wine. What TV station or programs were you on? I was on four ITV stations. And um, then uh, and I used to do the news. And then we were on all the radio stations and a lot of the television stations. So there we are. Fantastic. Hiya, Paul Free Fife. Thank you, do to the Fifers. Me and my father have just bought a Fort Anglia. Which one, Charlie, is it um, 1950s or 1960s? Is it a 105E with the sloping back window? Or is it um, one of the early sit up and begs? That's what we need to know. Opinions on dissolution of the monarchy. You will never, ever, ever, ever have dissolution of the monarchy again because uh, it uh, is the curator and custodian of the crown. The crown is entrusted to the monarchy. The monarchy is now constitutional, so it's not absolute, so there is just no argument. Uh, they tried it with Charles I in the 1660s, and of course it was an absolute disaster. We had the Commonwealth, we had to then have the... Uh, restoration and the regency and then back to sensible constitutional monarchy. Uh, my next door neighbor had a larder, the tractor engine under the bonnet. Fantastic things, absolutely. I've even seen a Gardner diesel in a Land Rover. You know, fantastic. You'll never make a profit on a motor, Scotty. I certainly haven't. Well, Robert, I don't think that motors are about profits. You certainly won't make it when you buy brand new and then try to flog after a while. But you see, I've always had beautiful cars, but I keep them a long time. I mean, my last one was, uh, how long did I keep it for? 19 years, I think. So, you know, you can't say fairer than that. 6.6 .6 litre 16 valve V8 Pontiac GTO engine. Now you are talking ex-Josh. 
Yes, indeed. As one of the famous car manufacturers once said, what are you, why do you ask about aerodynamics? What do you think engines are for? And it's the same with the aircraft industry. The only reason flying has got so much faster is because the engines have become bigger and more efficient. So there you go. I mean, you can't beat the old, uh, the old uh, Spitfire engine. So there we are, the Merlin. Uh, but a lot of them also had the Griffin in them. But these were very big, powerful engines. 12 cylinders, is that right? Can you say Newcastle are going to the championship? Well, I think if you had a, a, a good bit of brown ale in you, and you could say Newcastle are going for the championship, uh, but some people might pat you and say, enjoy your night, pal. Scotty, the statue outside the BBC. BBC where? The BBC has got centres all over the country. You've got Manchester. You've got Pacific Key in Scotland. You've got uh, BBC Leeds. You've got BBC Cumbria. You know, you've got Broadcasting House. You've got, uh, you don't any longer have Television Centre. Uh, so there you are. Now, who have we got here? Dinky do. I bet you'd a rally chopper in the 70s and 80s. No, in the 60s and 70s, the Happy Squirrel, I had a rally New Yorker. Yes, you're talking almost 20 pounds worth. Uh, and somebody took it from the garage. I could still give you the registration number stamped below the saddle. And if anybody sees it after 50 years, they might uh, know that it's mine. And then I had, uh, wait for this, a rally runabout moped. Look that one up, a rally runabout. Your views of the M8 motorway, Scotty? Well, of course, it's a nice straight road, the M8. And I remember what it was life, life was like before the M8 when you had to do things like go from Greenock, through Port Glasgow, through Langbank, through Bishopton, through Paisley, you know, all that sort of stuff when you were heading for Glasgow. Anybody remember the Red Smitty Road? Are you still driving your Ford Escort? No, Jonathan, I don't have an Escort, um, although I did like them. I liked the Mark what was the little rounded one? Was it the Mark II or the Mark III? I can't remember. The Mark III was the square one, was it? When we on TV, 1984 to 1989, and then again from 1992 through until, um, well, I was still going on television well into the 2000s. There we are. Scotty McClure, the next Doctor Who. I hope the South Africans are having a bray and a wee drink for the long weekend. I hope so, Happy Squirrel. How fantastic would that be? No YouTube channel. Now, Jonathan, I've got the YouTube channel. Can you see the link? Guys, put this in. This is very important. Scotty McClure YouTube channel. There's a link on the bio on TikTok. Can you see it? Do tell me. Uh, so there we are. Jonathan, are you saying you can't see it? Did you know, Scotty, that Volvo were the first car company to use crash test dummies? I did know that, Robert Scrimger. I don't want to appear like a smarty pants, but I knew that very well because Volvo's big thing was safety. They were very big on safety. So were Rover, actually. I think the Rover engine went under in a crash, but, um, you know, Volvo had their crumple zones. Very, very clever. What's your favourite dram, Scotty? Well, I don't drink now, Aleem. I don't touch alcohol at all. But I did love malt uh, whiskies in my day. Uh, yes, I've got your link, Scotty. Is it there, Mark? Absolutely. Is everybody able to use it? Does it work, I say? Can you test it for me? T, please tell me we'll finally get the outcome to two truths and a lie. Well, we've only got about 10 minutes left, so there we go. So, yes, okay, okay, crab fishing. Let's do it. Hello from Sweden. Hello, Sanjean from Sweden. Svenska. Yes, lovely to have you with us. We're discussing Volvo and Sub. 
Yes, lovely stuff. Hey, I love your hat, says Gaming Gang. Dinky do, Gaming Gang. A very, very famous hat, I can say. Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, the one stop broadcaster just for you guys, and apparently one of the world's favourite lives on TikTok. How about that? How amazing is that, I tell you. Right, two truths and a lie. The three questions. Number one, I used to own a shopping centre outright. No board, no directors, just me. Scotty McClue owned the whole shopping centre. Truth or lie? Number two, I conducted one of the world's great orchestras in front of 20,000 people at the Manchester Arena. Number three, when I boarded a plane, the pilot, when he took off, had to retrim the plane because of my 18 stone of solid muscle sitting on the side of it. Truth or lie? You've got two minutes, then I'll tell you the lot. Billy Connolly, fantastic comedian. When are you reading these questions? Are you literally just making them up? Just making them up, Mohammed. But two are true and one's not. <clears throat> Kevin Bridges is a legend. He absolutely is. I love his work. There we are. Outstanding comedian. Is that you in the picture behind you? That's me. That's Scotty McClue and Lord Reith, the Labrador. Very famous dog. What do you think of Stan Laurel living in Rutherglen? Yes, his father, I think, was in stage management at the Britannia Music Hall, you know, and uh, which is still there. First one's true. Second one's true. Third one's a lie, says Glenn. Okay, Glenn. Scotty, I love your hat. Alpha. I'm Alpha Meryl. <laughs> true. True. So there we are. Which one's true? You agree? Yes. Come on. We've got a couple of minutes, guys. See if you get two truths in the line. Guys, can you all subscribe to me live on the YouTube channel? The link is in the bio. Right, so there we are. Dinky do you legend, Chris. You are a legend. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky do. Thanks for lots of likes. Thanks for all the diamonds. Please all follow me. Very, very important. Thousands of you watch me, but not everybody follows. Dinky do, it's Scotty McClure. Did I see you on Sucky Hall Street a fortnight ago? No, I don't think so. I haven't been out with the lockdown. One and three are true. Right, so I used to own a shopping centre. I uh, didn't conduct one of the world's great orchestras. And uh, the third one, you think, this is what you think, you think the pilot did not, the pilot did have to correct the aircraft. There we are, we shall see. First Scotty bro, dinky do bro. Lovely to have you all with us. Welcome, 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 I say. Fantastic. So there we are. So do decide, guys, which one is which. Thank you for following me. Very much appreciated. I have a 40-year-old Woody with 20,000 miles. Now, which Woody? There were several Woodies. There was obviously the Morris Traveller, the Morris Minor Woody. So there was the Traveller. But there were other Woodies. I mean, I think even Daimler did a great big station Uh Scotty, what's kicking mucker? Everything fantastic on here. Did you know the first V8 engine came out in 1904? I think I had an idea it was early Josh, but I didn't know that. But Ford brought out a V8 pilot in the 1930s, the Ford V8 pilot. And when I was a wee boy, there was one in our street. Uh, Two-tone green, 1938 Ford V8 Pilot. Why do you not follow anybody? Because, Thomas, then nobody can criticize, uh, you know, and say that some old guy's following everybody. And also, you're not putting anyone's nose out of joint 
because it means that um, some people aren't saying, how come you followed him but no me? He's a rascal, I'm no. That sort of thing. Do you see what I mean? So if we just agree that everybody follows Scotty and leave it at that, that's brilliant. Very much appreciated. The Morris Minor, that was one of the Woodies, yes. What's the prize of them right, Scotty? Well, Mark, the prize is knowing that you're right live on Scotty McClue's Live. What a wonderful, well-educated man. I could listen and learn from you all day. You say lovely things. Hubble, hubble, hubble. True, true, false. Right. Here we go. Any facts about lookers? Yes, indeed. Yes, I knew one of the commanding officers. Personally, yes, there you go. Fantastic. And lookers, the problem with lookers is the weather. So there you are. So I can tell you about that. If you're talking about, are you talking about RAF lookers? Are you talking about the um, railway station? There we are. Now then, Scotty, have you had a good day? I've had a lovely day, Glenn. Thank you for asking. So there we are. Did you used to trams in the late 50s? I just remember the trams in Glasgow. They took them off in 1959. And I was a little boy with my mother holding her hand. And I remember a tremendous squealing noise from the tram wheels going along St. Vincent Street, it was, I think. Uh, you sound a true Scot, sir. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. There we are. Dinky doo. The Bruins or Urwale, both, love both, wouldn't be without either. The Bruins and Urwale, and I love the whole family of Bruins, Hen, Daphne, Horace, the twins, the wee and the bairn, Ma, Pa, Grandpa. I think I've covered every day, haven't I? Was there another boy? There we are. You're going to get famous, Scotty McClure. Do you want the matches today? I haven't yet. Lord Olivier, Newcastle saviour. Up, Scotty, from the tarmacers. Keep the motorways fresh. Uh, I'm going to be as intelligent as you someday. Ex Josh, you're already a very, very intelligent man. Don't you forget it, I say. There we are. Right, have we got... Teams are back in Edinburgh, so there we are. Well, the trams are back in Edinburgh. Yes, a pain for the traffic jams. I know. I just took off and parked. It was a Saturday night, and I parked up at the, the bit going into Edinburgh. I thought, I don't want to go through these signs because I don't know what I'm doing. And I used to know Edinburgh absolutely like the back of my hand. I would nip up here, and I would nip up here. But I thought, no, I'll just park it. Was it Shandwick Place? You can park on a Saturday evening. So there we are. Uh, now everybody's giving it the chat. Right. Shall we uh, Shall we fess up? Here we are. What's the future for the young ones? Fabulous future for the young ones. They just need to talk. What's the best century for you? The present one. I'm loving where we are right now. Live on TikTok. Dinky do. So there we are. Fantastic. Now then, right, are we ready for the chat? The first one, I own a shopping centre. Not true. The second one, I conducted, guest conducted one of the world's great orchestras. Yes, I did. In the Manchester Arena in front of 20,000 people. Yes, I did. Mark says, yes, yeah, Shanwick Place, absolutely. And uh, then the third one, the pilot had to retrim. It was a light aircraft, a wee Grumman Yankee. And when we took off, he went, whoo, I feel, I feel the difference with you, you know, and had to retrim her. Guys, I'm going to have to dash, dinky do. My girlfriend cheated on me. How should I deal with it? I ask her why. And um, did she love the other person? and uh, see if you love her and have a discussion. That's it. It's all to do with a conversation. I say, right, I'm going to have to dash, guys. You're beautiful people. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. So there we are. And um, look at all the Scotty McClue TikTok videos. They're all for you. Subscribe and follow me on TikTok because this is going to be very, very big. This may well outclass television shortly. Scotty McClure live on TikTok just for you. Bye, everybody. I'll sing you the goodbye song. <laughs>
Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, au revoir, zain, au revoir, and a cheerio. Love you all lots, take great care of your dear selves, stay fabulous, stay safe. Dinky-doo, ta-da-las!